Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Grandia on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we uh, swabbed the deck, pretty much. Actually, no, I think that was the episode before, but uh, no, we swabbed the deck. Uh, yeah, we swabbed the deck, and try as we might, we cannot get under like 30-something seconds or whatever. Uh, and then we were told that there's a special guest coming to the ship today, so we gotta go check that out. Um, I did look up a couple things off uh, in between episodes real fast. Um, if you give the girl in the, like, little clubhouse area, um, the second answer, she gives you, like, some chocolates or something, which I think just recovers, like, 20 HP or something like that. I'm not really too concerned about it. And if you do the swab the deck, uh, minigame in under 25 seconds or less, yeah, that's freaking ridiculous, you get a whole 25, uh, gold pieces out of it. So, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. I don't think it's terribly worth it. Because it's a real bastard to try to get, so no thanks. Anyways, uh, also, uh, something that I've decided uh, that we were pretty much doing the last couple episodes. I've decided that I'm not going to voice every single uh, NPC in the game, like if they're just like in town or whatever, just because there's so many of them and they have so much to say. If it seems like it's reasonably important, or if it's a storyline um, NPC, uh, somebody special, like a uh, like the museum caretaker or like the mom or like uh justin's friends or something like that sure i'll voice them a little bit but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna read out every single piece of uh, dialogue in the game because that's a lot but if it seems like it's reasonably important or if it's somebody important yeah sure no problem anyways let's go ahead and meet this uh special guest uh, i think we're all healed up and everything just in case we have to fight any krakens or squids or anything like that i think we should be fine Hang on one second. Oh. Oh, uh. Damn cough drops, extra menthol. The cough is mostly over, but this the throat is still a little sore, so I'm using that. Hopefully, hopefully this cough drop dies out soon, and then I don't have to worry about it. Anyways, let's go meet the uh, special guests. Why not? Yes, sir. We're off. Oh, it's a, it's a girl. Okay, cool. Maybe she's hot. We can marry her or something. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe Sue will get a uh, more ladylike after looking at it or something. I don't know. I don't think there's anybody here that we actually have to talk to, so... I think we've talked to all these guys at least once. Um... I think if we go over here, we go back to the uh, top of the ship, I hope. And if I had to guess, I'd say that's where she's hanging out at. Uh, let me see if I can't... Let me see if I can't get this uh, lady over here to tell me how she looks again, and I can give her the proper answer and get the chocolates out of it. I mean, not that I really care that much, but it'd be cool. Yeah, if you give her, like, the second option, I think it said, you get the, uh, chocolates, but, eh, whatever. I think we have enough healing items as it is. Hang on, I'm gonna try to power through the rest of this cough drop real fast, because it's just been in its final stages. Ah. Ah, there we go. It actually starts off tasting pretty decent for a cough drop, and then it's like a syrupy menthol center. They're uh, Ricola cough drops, so they do a pretty good job, uh, actually, but then that uh, syrupy menthol center just kind of kicks you in the back of the throat. I think I've mentioned that before, but it bears repeating. Alright, where is our special villager, or not villager, uh, guest... Yeah, we're going to meet a special villager who's going to take us away from this dreary world. You guys are too late. Look, the greatest adventurer in New Parma is over there. Ooh, you want to go say hello. Uh, the greatest adventurer... Oh, she's an adventurer. Cool. Uh, hello, look at all that treasure. Welcome home, Fina. 
Boy, I missed you. How you been? <laughs> I'm doing great. And the treasure, as you can see, it's just perfect. Vina, you've outdone yourself again. I'm so happy to see your smiling face. Long time no see, Captain. You look well, too. Vina, I thought I'd never see the golden legacy of the legendary pirate Warren with my own two eyes. <laughs> Isn't it great? To tell the truth, I had a bit of trouble. It was one trap after another. Whoever set them sure had a bad attitude. They might catch some bumbling adventurer, but they can't catch me. At the very end, though, I thought I was done for when I had these giant boulders on my tail, but I quickly found a cave in the side and whoa, jumped whoa. in. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Let's not waste a good story. Let's go sit down. You can take your time and tell me about your adventure down below. I'll have the men carry your treasure. Okay, Captain. Can you guys take care of this stuff? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Catch up with you later. Okay, Sue, so, Scram, we don't need you anymore now that we got a hot green haired chick here. Ooh, hello. I like it. And I, when she was doing the, the high five thing, all I heard was the slapping. So I thought she was like slapping some guy upside the head or something. You know, just. They like to do that in anime and video games. I don't know why. The whole uh, Sunday or quality or whatever. It's not really my particular favored variety of female, but that's what I was. Uh, they don't do high fives too much in video games, at least not as far as I can tell. So it's a nice change of pace that she's slapping their hands and not their heads. Huh? Who are you two? Never seen you before. By the way, uh, she just like got on the ship, right? So do they like stop off at a, like a island in the middle of the sea or something and pick her up, or does she uh, connect the uh, gangplank from one ship to the next, or does she like grow up in a rowboat, or how, how did she get on the ship, or where'd she come from? That's my question. Oh well, I, I, I'm just a wow, a girl. The greatest adventure in the new world is a girl. That's so cool. Yeah, she's pretty too, right, Justin? Uh, yeah, much prettier than you. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Captain, will you introduce us? Of course, Rena. These are our apprentice sailors, Justin and Sue here. Hmm. My name's Fina. Pleased to meet you. Say, Justin, let's give her the high five greeting. That's right, we just practiced. I'm Justin. Pleased to meet you. That's right, they did they did practice, didn't they? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Didn't you know that greeting is only for when you're full-fledged? Okay. For now, we shake hands. Let's save the high five for when you're a full-fledged sailor. Come, let's go, Fina. Don't be slacking off, eh, Justin? You two, good luck on your ship work. Well, shall we go, Captain? Uh, don't forget to mention that we are actually adventurers. We're just uh, uh, conscripted into the whole sailor thing at the moment. So we're not actually... Uh, Sailors were just part time or temps. Ah, she treated him like a kid. But she's so cool. I'd like to be like her. Yeah, give yourself a few years and then you might be in our league. But for now, the greatest adventurer in the new world. She was pretty cute. Justin, you're a man of fine tastes. Well, except for Sue. Yeah, hey, but Sue's more like a little sister, I think. Ugh, no fun at all. Cleaning again today. Don't give me that. Better being tossed overboard, no? It's your fault. Yeah, if you hadn't stowed away, eh, we would be fine. Actually, if, uh... Hey, it's already clean. Who cleaned the next for us? Actually, if Justin hadn't tried to kick her off the adventure, they would have both came on, and we would be all sitting pretty at the bar with the, the chick that wants to give us chocolates. Hey, you two. It's about time. You'll never be a full-fledged sailor if you can't get up on time. Good morning, Justin and Sue. Looks like a hot one today. Huh? You remembered our names? I'm shocked. A first-rate adventurer needs an excellent memory. Or I'd like to say, or I'd like to say so. I heard about you from the captain, so I thought I'd talk to you. I thought I'd talk to you while scrubbing the, or swabbing the deck, but you took so long to get here. At this rate, you've got a long way to go be, be a full-fledged sailor. Yeah, I don't actually want to be a sailor. I'm just uh, here for the uh, passage. Jeez, you're pretty tough. And also pretty spiffy if you're a... Uh, Managed to get the entire deck swabbed before we got here. I mean, that's dedication right there. But I'm an adventurer, so that's okay with me. 
An adventurer? Hang on there. The captain said you were an apprentice sailor. That's just my disguise. I've got a good cover story. You know, Sue just... No, I'll tell her. The problem was that Justin here was trying to ditch me. D ditch you? Now listen, Fina. Justin here is so terrible. Hey, I had a good reason for it. And that's it. Hey, I'm a great adventurer, right? Right? You see how it was all Justin's fault, right? <laughs> I can see that you two are really good friends. <laughs> you two are just too, just too funny. I haven't laughed like this in ages. Say, Fina, tell us something about you. No fair to talk about us. Hmm, you're right. So what would you like to know? Uh... Well, tell us about your adventures, I guess. Hmm, it's hard to say in just a few words. Well, we've got plenty of time before we get to New Parm, so I'll tell you a little each day. What do you mean, each day? That means we'll be swabbing the decks for a while, too. Ugh, like apprentice sailors ever rough. Haha, <laughs> you'll be okay. I'll help, too. It'll be fun when we all do it. Yeah, thank you, Fina. Uh, let's see... Do you live in New Par... Uh, yeah, how do we start exploring the New World? So, Justin, you want to be the greatest adventurer in the world? We're going to the Adventurer Society in New Parm. Fina, are you a member, too? Uh, well, of course I'm a member. Great. I'll become a member, too. I'll be an even better adventurer. I guess so. I'll go with you on your adventure. That sounds like fun. Hey, we're going to have a new party member. Awesome. Or she might just be like one of those ones that just kind of like sits in the background and shows up at uh, towns for like meetings and such like that. I mean, they do that every once in a while and it's irritating because you think, hey, I got a cool new party member. And then they're just uh, eye candy pretty much. And lastly, do you live in New Parm? Where do I live? I do live near New Parm. I live alone. It's a carefree life. Alone? You're tough, Fina. Don't you get lonely? Yeah, both my parents died long ago. I used to live with my big sister, but not anymore. Where'd she go? Wow, living alone in the new world, Fina. That's so cool. I don't like that wind. And suddenly the seagulls. Yeah, they stopped pooping on my head. I'm going to see the captain. Justin and Sue, you ought to return to your quarters. See ya. Damn, she dashed off pretty fast. She was laughing so happily, and suddenly she's so serious. What's wrong? Say, look, Justin, suddenly there are no suddenly there are no seagulls at all. You're right. I think something interesting is going to happen. Let's go check it out, Sue. And it's going to be a kraken or something to watch. It's always a giant kraken at sea. It's never like a... Like a giant uh, shark just, like, slices the ship in half or something. But, oh well. Yeah, she thought we were cute. Yeah, the clouds look fine. Or not. What do you mean not like the clouds of forest storm? So some other magical force is interfering with them? Uh, Sue, so you're like eight years old, so no thanks. <laughs> that guy's got the right idea. Sorry, Sue. Uh, I think we had to go in here. There we go. Actually, this is the captain's quarters, right? Captain, the gales come up and the sea's rough. Strange clouds are approaching, too. This is trouble. I'll assemble the men. But not only that, I have a bad premonition. I shall see psychic. Fina, just what's happening? Is something wrong? Nothing to worry about, Justin and Sue. Go back to your quarters and rest. Uh, hello. We are top-rate adventurers. We can kill the Kraken that's going to attack us. Justin, let's go back to our quarters. Looks like some big trouble. Cap, we have to change course by as much as we can. Quickly, assemble them in. But Fina, that bad permission of yours. Could it be the legendary ghost ship? Not that ship again. Cut that out. That's just a superstition. A ghost ship? Tell me about it, too. Tell me about it, too. Justin, didn't you hear? I told you to go rest in your quarters. Jeez, she's kind of bossy. I like it. No fair, can't we say just a little? This is not a child's game of adventurer. Be good and do as I say. Miss Fina! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Come on deck right away! Huh? Captain, tell the men to make sure they act calm. The passengers will panic. And she tosses us off, tosses us, tosses us off to the side like... Luggage. I can't stand it. If this is really the ghost ship, we're doomed! 
Justin, let's go to our quarters. We can't go now. I can smell a great adventure. Come on, let's go on deck and see. Yeah, actually, can, can we look in this and see if anything, uh, see if anything cool here? No? Eh, chew it out again. I was hoping we could, like, look through the uh, telescope and see the ghost ship that they're talking about. Then again, I guess ghost ships are the second most common causes of death in RPGs. On the sea. Wait, Justin. Look at that. Incredible, a real ghost ship. Incredible. Uh, the head on that ship uh, kind of looks like um, like a parrot head or something you would see in like an old man's cane or something like that. Or maybe not a parrot's head, just like a bird head in general. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. But yeah, usually if you're on sea, it's either going to be attacked by a kraken or a giant octopus, or the ghost ship that suddenly happens to magically be real is going to show up and do something. So, yeah, it's reasonably predictable, but I think I'd rather have the ghost ship since it turns out to be a whole another area than just a boss fight against the Kraken, who, after you beat it, will uh, cap capsize your ship and you'll end up on an island somewhere. So, I'd rather have the ghost ship. Wow, it really has the mood down. I've decided. My first great adventure will be on that ghost ship. I thought your first great adventures were in the mines. Both of them. How helpless. Isn't there a single real man on the sea of the ship? Man of the sea on this ship? Hey, that's Fina's voice. Over there, Justin. Uh, is there anything up here that we could uh, check out? No? I just want to make sure there's not like any suddenly new boxes or anything. What we know for sure right now is, unless we do something about that mystery ship, we won't make it to Alencia alive. At this rate, it involves not only the sailors, but the passengers, too. Show them a sailor's grit and guts. Come on, Captain. Instruct your men. Oh no, we're done for. Our ghost ship has really appeared. We're all going to die now. That's just a shipwreck. The ghost ship is just a superstition. Anyway, we have to fix the ship. You see, ever since that ship appeared, our ship can't move, even with the engine at full speed. Ah! Pull yourself together. We've got to work together or we'll all drown. But, Fina, what can we do? We're up against a ghost ship. We're just sailors, right? If the ship doesn't move, we can't do anything. Don't you have, like, a sail? Then again, actually, this is a pretty big boat, so it'd have to be a pretty big bunch of sails, actually, now that I think about it. Don't act so hopeless. Aren't you the men of the sea? I'll solve the mystery of that ship. So who will go with me to board that ship? Isn't there even one brave man? <coughs> Excuse me. I am here for your needs, but I'm going to talk to everybody else first. Yeah, okay, so the ghost ship manages to stop the ship from moving. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, the whole part where every ship that it's met has sunk is uh, not so great. Damn spirits. Uh, how come I'm going to be... If I'm an apprentice, how come I'm the only man that's going to actually bother to go over there? Yeah, we're mates on the ship, even if we're temporary. Okay, so now that they realize we're part of the crew, they'll let us li risk our lives. Hey, you'll go. Awesome. Let's all draw the last. Yeah, so he sounded like he might want to help out, then he realized if we actually took him up on his offer, not so much. Damn evil spirits. Incredible. Never seen a ghost ship. As long as the woman's here to protect you, you should be fine, right? Nothing wrong with that. I mean, she is known as, like, the best adventurer ever, so... Yeah, what rumors? The pirate Robinson and Captain Griffin from the period known as the Golden Age of Pirates. 
These hanged pirates are rumored to still be scouring the seas in search of loot. Okay, so we're going to have some pirate bosses. Alright, Fina. Uh, you ready? Let's do it. Actually, hang on a second. Before I get too gung-ho here, let me see uh, my inventory. See if there's anything I could possibly um, drop off in storage and not actually, like... Yeah, let's go ahead and drop some... Actually... I'll be right back. I'm going to go drop some of this stuff off, and I'll be... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. And I went ahead and dropped off our key items. Simply for the fact that as far as I can tell, based on the couple of times that we've had to uh, use them for stuff, as long as you have the key item from, like, the NPC that gives it to you, it doesn't matter if it's in your stash or if it's in your actual inventory, it'll still work. Because, like, um, I forget when it was, but earlier we had, like, the... We had something in our inventory. I think it was like the uh, letter of recommendation or something like that or something like that. I don't remember. And it seemed like it was in my stash, but we were still able to use it. So, yeah, works for me. So I just kept all the weapons and stuff because we don't know what Fina's going to use because we're obviously going to have her as a party member here. Um, it will be able to give her something there. We might have to go back to the store down there to see if she needs any uh, new weapons or anything. But I doubt it since she's supposed to be a top tier adventurer, so we should be fine. Anyways, Fina, I'm ready to be your knight in uh, not-so-shining armor, since I don't think my armor is really all that great, but whatever. Don't worry, Fina. We'll go with you. Justin. Now look, you guys. Even these little kids are showing some bravery. Is there no brave men among you who will go with me? I told you, I'll go with you on that ship. I'll bust up any ghosts. Ghosts? You don't get it. Listen, Justin, if you believe in ghosts, you'll never become an adventurer. Justin and Sue, you just wait on the ship. Um, uh, If I don't go, who will go? Because these weenies sure won't. I finally get to go on something like an adventurer. I'm an adventurer, too. You know the situation, don't you? There's no proof that you'll be any help at all, Justin. That ship won't let me bring along someone who will get in the way. My intuition tells me so. I'm worried. How can I let a girl go alone on that dangerous ship? A girl? How rude. I'm a pro-adventurer. I'm not so clueless that an amateur like you needs to worry about me. Yeah, okay, stop hogging all the adventure then. If I became a real adventurer, no fair that you'd get to do all the fun things alone. Justin, you're thinking too simply. Adventure isn't adventure isn't child's play. You could even lose your life. Yeah, I got resurrection potions, I'm good. Think I like that in a think like that in a real adventure would be way too dangerous. You don't have enough experience. Ah, I can't stand it. I'll do it myself, then. Let's go, Sue. Huh? But... Oh, what do I do? Ready to cross with the ghost ship, just as you said, Fina. No time to be fooling around. Okay, okay, Justin. Let's go together. But if you get in the way, even a little promise to come back right away, okay? Alright, of course. Just leave it to me. Come on, let's stop fooling around and go. Justin, Sue, since we don't have anybody else that wants to go. Hey, hey, we got another party member. Yay. Let's check it out. She should be awesome, I hope. Uh, let's see. Hey, I got more HP than you. And SP. Not by very much, but, you know, by a little bit. You have more MP, so that's cool. All right, let's check out the uh, status and whatnot here. Uh, let's see. You. Strength 28, Vitality 20, Wit 36, Agility 30... So it looks like you might actually be more of a mixed attacker. Ooh, you got a leather whip. Very nice. And you can use uh, daggers. So you can use whips, daggers, ooh, and fire. Very nice. Uh, let's see, you got breastplates, slight greaves, jade charms. Let's see, what's your move? You got 47. Do your move slightly worse than ours, but not by much. Uh, let's see. Let's go check out your items. So you got first aid, ginseng. You got a uh, parry knife. I think that's the one that they were selling in the um, the the shop downstairs. Antidote, first aid. So you got some good stuff there. And let's check out your equipment real fast. Okay, so. Okay, so your whip and your knife are the same level, actually. Or the same attack. 
Breastplate, 6 defense. Actually, that's better than ours by a fair amount, actually. I don't think they had anything better in the shop. Okay, you got Light Greaves, which are 1 defense, 17 move. So these have a lot more move, but that also gives 1, one extra defense, which probably isn't that useful. Uh, you get plus 2 attack, which is nice. Plus 2 defense, plus 2 action. Let's see, plus 3 defense. Okay, not bad. And everyone's got more or less the same general uh, stuff there. Okay, cool. Uh, now, you do also have magic -y type stuff, right? Let's see here. Burn, baby, burn. Range attack with a ring of fire. I like it. And it uses a whole 1 MP. Very nice. Now, I'm curious here. Uh, okay, it does say MP level 1, 10 out of 10. So I guess uh, it is a level 1 spell. So there we go. I like it. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Oh, also... I'm looking at the wrong thing. I was just looking at where it said right above burn, where it says MP level 1. But also, if we press right on the D-pad, we cycle through level 1, 2, and 3 anyways. Uh, skills, you got... Uh, oh, knife roll. Rolls knives directly there quickly at one enemy. Para whip, paralyzing whip attack on one enemy. Very nice. Cool. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, you guys still just have these. You guys don't have anything new yet, unfortunately. Oh, well. Okay, so level 14 whip and level 12 fire, you gain another uh, skill there. You eventually... Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't actually realize that it actually said what level you got the uh, skills at. I was just kind of ignoring that by accident. Oops. Okay, but if you get up to level 7 in your bat, which you're level 5 at right now, you get another skill. And level 10, you get another bow skill. Uh, let's see... You, you have to get to... Okay, we already have level 4 in the club, which is nice. But if we get up to level 6 in the sword, as well, we get another move. Okay, we're at 3, 4, 5. Okay, so for the axe... Okay, the axe right now is at level 5, so that's fine. Um, I think we might actually go back to the sword for right now, just to get up to level... Uh... Should I go up to the sword or should I go up to the bat? Let's actually look at uh, which one is more powerful here. Uh, let's see. Ceramic sword, hand axe. That's slightly weaker. Oh, we actually are on the sword. Never mind. Okay, they're, about, they're all about the same anyways. Okay, well, we didn't get a whole lot done uh, action-wise, but we managed to get ourselves a new party member, where whether she's temporary or permanent, uh, still remains to be seen. Next episode, we'll head on to the ghost ship and see if we can't oh, kill some ghosts. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.